Collective. It has been a hot minute since I have done a video that is geared towards consultants. And every single time I share a picture of my monthly postcards like this one, I get a ton of comments on it. Now I've made a video and I will link it up above and down below about how to print these postcards front and back. So that way you're not having to like put a return address and your customer's address like stickering. I show you how to exactly print it, but I get more questions about how do you actually make the postcard. So that's what this is going to be about. So I'm a huge believer in Canva. If you are a pick monkey person or you use Illustrator or just something else, it really doesn't matter because you can do this however you want to do it. I'm going to show you in Canva. I have Canva Pro and just a little back history, how I do my mailings. A lot of consultants like to do the three months worth of samples. What I like to do is I like to send samples as the thank you. And then every month afterwards up to 12 months. So my last 12 months worth of customers get a postcard. It is a lot more cost effective for me to do it that way. And I also reach a lot more people that way. And I'm also reaching people more often that way, up to 12 months worth of customers. So that's why I do it this way. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you wanna figure out the size of your postcard. Now, if you're going to do it through Avery and you're actually getting their paper that's perforated, Avery's is 8387. That's kind of the template that you would use. For me, I don't even use our perforated paper. I just use regular 110 pound cardstock and then I just cut it with a paper cutter. You can see here the size is four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. So that is what I'm going to be working with over in Canva. So four and a quarter and five and a half. So let's go back to Canva and I'm going to come here to create a design, the purple button in the top right corner. And it's already there for me. So five and a half is the width. So we want a little bit longer and four and a quarter is the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and do create a new design. And here is our postcard. So what I like to do is I always want to highlight the warmer of the month. I like to have that be front and center all the time. I also want to highlight the scent of the month. So I always like to pull the room spray, the scent circle, and the bar. And then the third option on here is just something that is going to be happening in that month that is exciting or that I want to call attention to. So the first thing I want to do is I want to come to my workstation. I'm going to download all of the things that I need. So I know that I need January's warmer of the month. All right, so we said we needed the room spray. I like the warmer on with the wax inside, so I am gonna download this one if you prefer it to be off without the wax. You can download either one of these two. Now we need the scent circle and the bar. So now I am going to upload those. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the warmer and bring that in front and center. And like I said, I like for this to be big. And one thing I love about Canva is it gives you these guiding lines so I can see that that is the center of my postcard. And I like my things to be big. I know they say white space is really great for the eyes, but I take that to be more like websites. When it comes to this, I like to fill the postcard. Okay, so next let's do the room spray. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these and then make it a little bit bigger. I like to turn it and put it all the way up against the side. I'm going to bring in the circle. And then I'm going to come up to position up in the top and I'm going to move that backwards pretty much to the very back. I want it to be behind the warmer. And then we want the bar. Now for me, I want to measure this so that way I can use my scratch and sniff sticker. So I'm using the box around it to get as close as I can to the top and the bottom. So I can see right here that it says that the width is 1.7 and the height is 2.2. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab an old scratch and sniff sticker and I'm going to grab a tape measure to see exactly how big these stickers are. Stickers, tape measure. So the stickers, are pretty much one and a half inches tall. So now that we have it pretty much tight around the bar, I'm gonna drag it down to where the height gets to 1.5, right there. So that is about as big as the sticker is going to be. 
Now for me and for our words on the bottom, this warmer is going to be a little bit too big. So I'm going to go ahead and just shrink it down a little bit. We'll shrink everything so that way it looks a little bit more in proportion. We'll go ahead and make this straight since we made the other ones curved. Okay, so now whenever we print this postcard, this bar, if you don't have the stickers, you can just mail it as is. But if you do have the stickers, this tells you exactly where to put the sticker. And another tip, if you do have stickers that I like to do is I like to lower the transparency of this. So that way I'm not utilizing that ink for that piece. So let's go over to our text and let's add in some headings. So the warmer is better together. I like mine caps. Okay, and let's, I like to operate in round numbers. So we're gonna make this 80, put this in the center. I'm just gonna use my keyboard to Command C and Command V to copy and paste it. Then we're gonna put this over here underneath these. And this is sun ripened berry. Perfect. And again, the lines tell you that's in the center of all of those elements and also in the center of Better Together. So I'm going to go back to the left. We're going to choose some body text. Let's put it over here in the center. Yeah, let's make it 35. Perfect. So I'm going to download the flyer. So that way I can easily copy and paste the description of the warmer and of the scent. So I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to make it all capitalized. And then I'm going to shrink the spaces in between the lines so that way it's all nice and tight. Now, one thing that I like to do is I also like to add in 10% off in January. I like to make that bold and then we'll make that red. Now we can see that it's kind of hanging off. So I'm gonna see what words I can take out of the description so it still makes sense, but that we have in January up on that last line. So I think I'm just gonna take off this last sentence illustrating how we are better together. Cause I think it's still a complete sentence with that there. All right, I'm gonna bring that down. This is all a bunch of Tetris is what it seems like sometimes. All right, I'm gonna copy and paste this, put this under the Sun Ripen Berry. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna grab the description. And this is also 10% off in January, so I'm gonna leave that there. And so you can see whenever it was wide like that, we had those white spaces like right here by width and then Sun Ripened. So I like to use the outside guides and drag them in to see if we can make it look more pleasing to the eye. And so that looks more like a box. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that, put it in the center and then align with our other text. And then, so we can see here that there's a big space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the warmer bigger. And then we don't want to make the sticker bigger because that's exactly the right size that we need. I'm going to go ahead and make these a little bit bigger. Okay. Perfect. So now for the other thing, this can be anything you want it to be, right? So historically in a transition month, we have 10% off. Sometimes it's the entire catalog. Sometimes it's specific items. I don't know what it's going to be at the time of this recording. It could be, I'm going to go ahead and pretend like it is so I can show you how I do this, but I love the 10% off that since he has in wax cubes, this one right here. I think this one is the cutest. I'm going to go ahead and download it. And then I'm just going to click and drag it over into Canva to upload it. Perfect. Now, if you want to, we can remove the background of this because it is a white background, or we can just push it all the way to the back. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove the background. So make sure you have that element selected up at the top, edit image, and then remove background. And that'll make it to where it can be over things. But for me, it is actually going to be in the background. So we can see we really can't have it 10% this way because it's going to take up way too much space. So what I've done the last two years is I just turned it on its side like this. And I just made it bigger like that. 
Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna use my mouse. I'm gonna click and drag and select both of these text boxes and I'm gonna let go. It selects both of them. I'm gonna copy and paste Command C, Command V. I'm gonna put this right in the middle so we can see that it is in line with the 10% and with the other letters. And now we can edit these. And then I'm just gonna leave this like this because we don't really know what is going to be on sale, if anything, in January. But this is where you would write what is going to be on sale. Last year it was 10% off all wax bars or 10% off everything, you would put that there. So now we're good to go. Now, if you feel that something doesn't look right, you can always move things around, right? That's the best part about this. If we wanna move this over a little bit, we can um, to create more space for this cluster of elements that we have and then we can even you know make this a little bit wider but it's totally up to you the good thing about this is if we want to go back we can just command z and we can undo everything that we just did so all we need to do now is we can download upload it to avery and then that is where that other video is going to come into play something else that you can do in here is we can add a new page and we can put our you know return address here if we want to put you know something down here maybe create a sticker and put that here so for example let me go to elements let me show you what i mean by create a sticker i am going to find the frames and i'm going to go to my selfies like this like this looks like it could be a sticker right so putting a sticker there with your face on it so that way People know exactly who you are. And then when you go into Avery, you can put their return addresses here with the mail merge feature. That is it, super simple. Download as a PNG and download, super simple, super easy. So if you have any questions about how to create your own postcard, please let me down below. And if not, I will see you next time.